of the Coach's Corner. I'm Joe Wamba, joined now with head coach of the women's volleyball team, Dave Trumbo. Got the win streak up to 11 in a row now. Last week you guys uh, hosted Albright and get a lot of participation from the bench. Uh, Albright, always big to mm-hmm. win a conference match. Uh, and those games are meaningful when, you know, when we have an opportunity to play everybody. You know, all t- 18 players work so hard. They get an opportunity to, to play uh, in the game, and that make, it makes a difference in two, two ways. One, some kids are just game players. They play much better in the game than they mm-hmm. do in practice, and others, you know, it just, it, it just rewards them for all the hard work because we right. certainly can't play 18 players. But right. uh, the, when we can do that and uh, sit some of our starters, it really makes a difference. And you guys travel to Catholic on Thursday and get another important victory. Yeah, that was uh, I was a little apprehensive. You mm-hmm. going some, you know, Catholic was nineteen and five. Um, Kristen Brooks um, was was sick and was not able to uh, travel. And um, and then our starting libero uh, Deanna Bradbury had class that she couldn't miss. Right. Uh, it is about it academics. Happens. Unfortunately, these kids have to go to school. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But uh, Megan Wren did a phenomenal job, as she always does, filling mm-hmm. in for Deanna. And then two freshmen, uh, Katie Leffridge, played front row. Uh, and then De- um, Darian Hillman played back row for Kristen. So we kind of had a two-headed monster there, and uh, both of them did a great job. Katie hit 250 and had nine kills. So it was a nice night for her. Uh, Darian uh, passed and dug really well and has a you know, real, real good serve. So we're, we're real happy with our win against Catholic. And two more wins to talk about out of the four that you had last week. One against Stockton on Saturday and the other uh, in the evening on Saturday as well. Yeah, the Stockton win was big. We had no idea it was going to be that kind of intensity and rivalry. Um, we they are a sweet six. They went to Sweet Sixteen mm-hmm. last year. The year before that, in two thousand and fourteen, we knocked them out of the NCAA in the first round, fifteen thirteen in the fifth. They remembered. Yeah. Uh, And it was a lot of the same kids. And Mm -hmm. the officials had to warn both teams about barking through the net, celebrating in the other team's faces. Oh, wow. Uh, Some things were said through the net. And of NCAA intensity. Yeah. And that's what you're going to get. And, Mm -hmm. you know, so that was a really good win for us. And uh, being able to win a couple of two-point sets, you know, and uh, after losing the first one, you know, we Mm -hmm. we got down and then we were able to win three in a row. Yeah. was was huge uh so people people and and then you know in the day and then we played rowan after that Mm -hmm. um uh person i really probably want to mention is deanna bradbury she all you know we grade passing you know Mm -hmm. which is such an important part of the game absolutely uh in both matches she had all threes which means she passed it directly to the setter and the setter could set all three options except for five times Wow. She had twos. I mean, okay. so she passed just phenomenal. Uh, they didn't serve her a lot right. <laughs> because she was because passing, passing so it. well. And uh, and that was over 25 passes between the two matches. So uh, Deanna had a great day, which then our setters are thankful because they're not running around the court, and they can run our offense, and you know, our hitters will have a good day, You know, and the setters can deliver the ball. And looking forward to uh, this week, tomorrow night, you guys got uh... – St. Mary's mm-hmm. at home for senior night, mm-hmm. and then head out back into the conference play at Lebanon Valley on Wednesday. Well, uh, St. Mary's is is very good. They just lost three to one to Salisbury, but a bunch of two point games, mm-hmm. and two point games can go either way. So St. Mary's is a really good team. Uh, I don't like to play great teams on senior night because there's right. so many motions involved. We couldn't help it this year. We just we had to do it. Uh, and then the biggest game is uh, going to Lebanon Valley. Um, they are tied with us for first place. They're, we are both five and zero. Oh. Uh, in the conference, and a win against Lebanon Valley will clinch the regular season championship for us because now we have that we have beaten Messiah, we've beaten Lebanon Valley, uh, we finished up with Alvernia, and even if we would lose to Alvernia, we still head to head we beat like uh, excuse me uh, Lebanon Valley and Messiah. So big big match on Wednesday at Lebanon Valley, and that would be for the fifth time in a row. Yes, I believe that would yep. be the fifth regular season, season championship yes Correct. well coach good luck with those two events this week and of course to the seniors on uh on tuesday with saint mary's thanks joe thank you for your time as well mm-hmm. he's dave trumbo i'm joe wamba and this has been the coach's corner